gorgeous people how are you all doing welcome back again to today's class today's class is going to be a sewing class it's actually a follow-up class for the um, last class that we did where we created patterns for our asymmetric skirts so if you have not already watched that tutorial I would advise that you go watch the tutorial and then create your patterns before joining this class and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I've got loads of tutorials lined up for you so hit the subscribe button now so that when I post new videos you will get notified and then you will see the tutorial and then don't forget to like and comment as well let me know what you think about the tutorial so before we start today's class let me quickly walk you through the patterns that we created in our previous class I'd already traced out my patterns from our master draft so I've got six pattern pieces in all now the first one here is my my center back skirts so I've traced it out and I've added my 1.5 cm seam allowance all around and that one is going to be cut one piece they are not cutting on fold in this class at all so that is cut one piece now this one is the center front and this is also cut one piece then I created the waistband patterns for them now this is my center back waistband and this is going to be cut two pieces and this is my center front waistband this is going to be cut two pieces as well now I'm going to add zipper to the side of the skirt so that is why there is no it's just 1.5 cm seam allowance added to the side seam and then this is the flare pattern for the smaller flare this is going to be cut one piece this is also the flare pattern for the larger flare and this is going to be cut one piece as well so for this skirt you will need about two meters of fabric and you will need um, a light to medium weight fabric that drapes very well so that your flare will drape really very well if you use a fabric that is stiff your flare may not come out really nicely so you can use satin you can use um yeah you can use ankara fabric as well too but this is the fabric i choose to use you can use crepe as well so now pay attention to how i'm going to place my patterns on the fabric it's really very important because of the way the style of the skirt is so that you don't waste your fabric and you don't make mistakes when cutting your uh, patterns out so we're going to start with this first the front the center front or the front piece and the back piece now I'm placing them directly I'm placing the front um, the patterns on the front part of my fabric now this is the right side of my fabric this is the wrong side of my fabric so I'm placing my patterns directly on the right side of my fabric and remember to place your fa uh, your patterns the straight grain of your pattern against the straight grain of your fabric this is the straight grain of my fabric so I'm placing them side by side like this to cut them out so this way you are sure that your patterns are placed nicely and they are going you're going to um, yeah, you're not going to make any mistakes when cutting your patterns take note of how it is placed otherwise if you place one like this and place the other one like this you you're going to make a big mistake with that so once you do this you place your pattern weight on them and then or you can pin them and then you cut them out And then for the large flare and the small flare, you are also going to place them on the right side of your fabric, just like this, and then you're going to cut them out. So after cutting out your fabric pieces, now be sure to um, notch it. 
for example this is my large flare be sure to notch it at the at the side seam here this is our side seam just give it a knot and indicate which part is going to be the back side and the front side so that you don't get confused now you're going to do exactly the same thing for the lower flare or the smaller flare so indicate your this is my side seam and then this side is towards the back this side is towards the front so you just indicate it like that and then for your front pattern piece and your back pattern piece transfer the dart from your patterns to your fabric so now we're ready to start stitching our skirt and the first thing we're going to do would be for us to stitch our dart so i've already transferred transferred my dart to my skirt so i'm just going to go stitch my dart now for the front side and for the back side so when you finish stitching your darts, you're going to go press them very nicely. You press them together facing themselves so that they will lie very flat. And then before you join the side seams together, you're going to go overlock the raw edges so that your skirt will be neat. You're going to do exactly the same thing for the front side as well. And then you're going to place them together just like this then you're going to stitch the side seams together from here all the way down to the end and then on this side all the way down to the end so when you finish stitching the side seam you're going to have your skirt just like this be sure to open press your seam allowance so that it will look nice and neat now this is going to be your uh, large flare and this is your small flare so you're going to join your small flare first so place your um place your skirt and all the patterns place them on the wrong side of the fabric now you're going to join your small flare first now you're going to take the side seam of your small flare and then you're going to place it on the side seam of your skirt just like this and then you use your pins to hold them together in place okay and then you're going to pin all the way down to the end okay so when you finish pinning you're going to have something you're going to have something like this so you're going to now stitch from one end here you're going to stitch it all the way down to the other side before we attach the large flame. So let me go stitch this first and show it to you. So when you finish attaching the lower uh, flare to your skirt, you're gonna have something like this, a little sharp end like this. Now you're going to give it a very good notch, it's a tiny notch like this, so that it can relax very well. Okay, so you can see it, so that it will relax very well. Now the next thing you're going to do is, you can go overlock your seams so that it will look really nice. Overlock from one end all the way down to the other end before you attach this other bigger uh, flare. Okay, so now before you attach your uh, large flare to your upper skirt, be sure to iron your seam allowance. This one here, be sure to iron your seam allowance towards the upper skirt so that it will relax very well and now you're going to take your the large flare and then you're just going to place it from the hemline all the way around just pin it and then you're going to pin it from one end all the way down to the other end now while you're pinning it be sure to match your side seam of your skirt your flare to the side seam of your skirt really very important so now after pinning your uh, flare to your skirt you're going to now take it to your sewing machine 
and stitch from one end all the way down to the other end and then you're going to overlock it very nicely and then give it a very good press so that it will relax very well so now the next thing would be for you to um to create an opening for your zipper so you're just going to open on the left side of your skirt you're just going to open it a little bit to create an opening for your zipper and then if you want to attach a waistband this will be the night right time to do that so you're going to take your waistband that you had already prepared and then like I said before if you need to attach a waistband just check my previous video it shows you how to create the waistband and how to attach it so you're going to place it from one end on the skirt just like this all around all the way down to the other end and make sure you match the side seams together so now you're going to stitch your waistband all around before you attach your zipper so now the next thing will be for you to go and uh, install your zipper so I would assume you already know how to install zippers and if you don't no worries I have a video already that um, shows how to install an invisible zipper so just go through my videos and then you're going to find it and then you install your zipper nicely and complete your waistband so once you're done installing your zipper and you finish attaching your waistband the only thing left for us to do in this skirt will be for us to finish off our hem and then to finish off our hem you are going to first of all overlock it so that it will be easy for you to stitch and then you're just going to fold it nicely very tiny like this and stitch it from one end all the way down to the other end so once you're done with that you're going to give your skirt a very good press and that will be it for these kits it was easy right easy peasy <laughs> anyways I hope you enjoyed this class and if you do please subscribe to my channel don't just watch it and leave subscribe to my channel to support me and also so that when I upload new videos you will always get notified share these videos with your friends drop a comment for me to know what you think and if you want a progressive tutorial of how to make your patterns your own patterns and how to sew from scratch you want to take it step by step by step from beginners to intermediate to advanced where you can learn different styles of skirts tops dresses pants jackets and many more I suggest that you sign up for my online school it's very affordable it's not 12 euros per month or a thousand naira or just 14 dollars so sign up and then you will get everything fully detailed step by step so thank you very much for staying with me to the end of this class i'll see you again in my next class bye bye